Hey everyone, today's lesson is Solve Systems by Elimination. If you have a copy of the lesson worksheet, take that out now. If not, grab a sheet of loose leaf paper and a pencil so you can copy down the examples and follow along with the lesson. Here's the problem. We are going to solve this system using the elimination method and write the solution as an ordered pair. Now before we start, let me just tell you that elimination is by far my favorite way to solve a system. And I think that after we do this example together, some of you are going to understand why and maybe even agree with me. Okay, here is our system. We've got 7x plus y equals 13 and 4x minus y equals 20. Okay, step one is we are going to make sure, make sure that both equations are in standard form. Now, standard form is something new, right? This isn't y equals mx plus b. Standard form is when you have the term with the x first, then the y, then the equals, then the c, right? So each equation has to be in this form. And if not, you have to put them in that form by adding or subtracting to move things across the equal sign. Now I'll tell you that in today's lesson, they are all going to be in this form. Okay, step two is we're going to write one equation on top of the other one, and we're going to line up the variables, right? So I always tell my students we're going to stack them. So we've got 7x plus y equals 13, and then we have 4x minus y equals 20. So we can see that our equations are stacked. I've got my x's, I've got my y's, I've got my equals, I've got my constants. Okay, on to step three. Check to see if one of the variables has opposite coefficients. So again, this is something new. So coefficients are the numbers that are multiplied to a variable. Opposite coefficients are a positive and a negative of the same number, like positive 2 and negative 2 are opposite coefficients. Positive 17 and negative 17 are opposite coefficients. If you don't have opposite coefficients, you're going to multiply either one or both of the equations by a number that will give you opposite coefficients. So you always need opposite coefficients. All right, let's check our equations here. So 7 and 4. Obviously, they are not opposite coefficients. They are both positive, first of all, and they're two different numbers. Now on the y's here, though, look at this. We have a positive 1 and we have a negative 1. Well, a positive 1 and a negative 1 would absolutely be negative coefficients. So we've got them, and we're ready to move on to step 4. Step 4 tells us that we are going to add the equations to eliminate one of the variables. Okay, so watch how this works. I'm going to change my system into a big addition problem, and I'm going to add them. 7x plus 4x is 11x. Positive 1y and negative 1y, that equals 0, right? They're opposite coefficients. If I were to add a positive 1 and a negative 1, it goes away. So I'm going to eliminate it. That's why it's called elimination. 13 plus 20 is 33. Then we're going to divide each side by 11. And that's going to give us x equals 3. So we have the first number in our ordered pair, right? The first part of our solution is x equals 3. Now we're going to use that to figure out what the second value in our ordered pair is. So you get to pick out which equation you like. I always look for the one that doesn't have a lot of negatives in it because I don't really like to deal with negatives that much. So I would use this first equation right here. So I'm going to write down the 7x plus y equals 13. And I'm going to substitute the value of x with the number 3, because that's what we just found. Right? So this value that we just found, this 3, I'm just going to substitute it in right here where the x goes. And I'm going to use that value to figure out what y is. 7 times 3 is 21. And then I'm going to subtract 21 from each side. And that's going to give me y equals negative 8. So now I have an x value and I have a y value, and I can write my solution as an ordered pair. So we'll write it in pink. Our ordered pair is positive 3, negative 8. 
And that means that this value of x and this value of y, if I were to substitute it in both equations in my system, it's going to work out. And you can kind of check it mentally, right? 7x would be 7 times 3, that's 21. 21 plus negative 8 equals 13, so I know it works. For this next one, I would have 4 times 3, which is 12. And then I would have 12 minus negative 8. Well, minus negative 8 is the same as plus positive 8, right? So 12 plus 8 is 20, and it works in that one too. So when you're doing the checks, at this point, you can kind of do them mentally. Um, but if you need to write them down and work it out, you can certainly do that. All right, let's look at another example. Okay, this time I've got 2x plus 3y equals 7, and I've got 2x minus 5y equals negative 33. Now, they're already in standard form. They're stacked on top of each other. Everything's all lined up. It looks beautiful. The problem is I don't have opposite coefficients. I have two positive 2s here, right? And they're not going to cancel because if I add a 2 and a 2, it gives me a 4. I have a positive 3 and a negative 5. Those are obviously not opposite coefficients because they're not the same number. One's positive and one's negative, but they're not the same. One's a 3 and one's a 5. So this is where I'm going to have to do that step where I multiply one of my equations by a number so that they will have opposite coefficients. So if I were to take my second equation, okay, this second equation right here, and I were to multiply this equation by negative 1, what that's going to do is it's going to change all the signs in this equation, right? So watch how this works out. I'll do negative 1 times 2x, and that's going to make it negative 2x. I'll do negative 1 times negative 5, which would make that positive 5y. And then I'll do negative 1 times negative 33, which will make that positive 33. So now I have a positive 2 in my first equation and a negative 2 in my second equation. I do have opposite coefficients. So I am ready to roll here. All right, I'm going to rewrite the problem again just so we can start from the beginning. So 2x plus 3y equals 7. That's a plus right there. And then I have negative 2x plus 5y equals 33. Right? I'm just writing what I changed this equation into. And then I'm going to make this into a big addition problem. Right? And I'm going to add these guys together. Positive 2 plus negative 2 cancels out. I eliminate that. 3y plus 5y equals 8y, and 7 plus 33 equals 40. Then I'm going to divide each side by 8, and that's going to leave me with y equals 5. So there is one value in my ordered pair. Now I'm going to choose one of my equations. It doesn't matter which one I choose. I can choose the original right, one of the two original equations, or I could use this one that I changed, it doesn't matter. I think I like the first one though because it doesn't have any negative signs in it, so I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to write down 2x plus 3y equals 7, and I'm going to take this value of 5 and I'm going to replace it where the y goes. So I'm going to have 2x plus 3 and instead of that y, I'm going to put the 5, because I now know that my y value is equal to 5. And I'm going to solve this equation, right? It's going to be 2x plus 15 equals 7. I have a two-stepper here, so I'm going to subtract 15 from each side. That's going to give me 2x equals negative 8. And then when I divide by 2, I'm going to get x equals negative 4. So now I have an x value and a y value, right? Here's my x value, here's my y value. My solution of this equation, when I write it as an ordered pair, we just want to make sure that we're putting the x value first and then the y. So negative 4 and then 5. All right, let's do our last example. Now, if you're feeling confident and you want to try to stop the video and do this one on your own, that's fine. But this one is a little bit trickier. All right, I have my two equations, 6x minus 10y equals negative 24 and 4x plus 2y equals 10. They're both in standard form. They're stacked on top of each other, so we are ready to go. 
I'm looking for opposite coefficients. Now, 6 and 4, those are not opposite coefficients. 10 and 2, right, negative 10 and 2, they're opposites, but the numbers aren't the same, right? So those aren't opposite coefficients either. So I'm going to have to multiply one of these equations by something. Now, there isn't anything that I can multiply 4 by easily to get 6, right? I could multiply it by 1 and a half, but that might be kind of annoying. However, there is something I could multiply a 2 by to make it into a 10, right? And keep in mind that if I multiply this 2 by a number, I want it to end up being an opposite coefficient with this negative 10 right here. So I need this y to be a positive 10, right? I want these to be opposite coefficients. So think about what could you multiply positive 2 by in order to turn it into a positive 10 so we can cancel it. So hopefully you realize that you can multiply it by a 5, right? Now, just remember you have to multiply everything by 5. So 5 times 4x is 20x, and 5 times 2y is 10y, and 5 times 10 is 50. So now I have a negative 10 and a positive 10. I have opposite coefficients. We are good to go, so let's get started. So we're going to rewrite our equations. I'm going to rewrite 6x minus 10y equals negative 24. And then underneath of it, I'm going to write the new equation that I just changed. So 20x plus 10y equals 50. I'm going to turn this into a big addition problem. So 6x plus 20x is 26x, and a negative 10y and a positive 10y get eliminated because they are opposite coefficients, and negative 24 plus 50 is 26. When I divide each side by 26, that gives me my value of x, right, which is x equals 1. So I've got part of my solution done already. Now I'm going to choose one of my equations. Remember, it doesn't matter. I can choose the original equation, right, one of these two, or I can pick the new one, right? So I don't really think it matters. I think I'm going to pick this one, this 4x plus 2y equals 10, because I think it looks kind of easy. So 4x plus 2y equals 10. And this time, I'm going to replace my x value with positive 1, because I just figured out that x equals 1, so I'm going to put it in there. And now I'm going to solve this equation. 4 times 1 is 4. I'm going to subtract 4 from each side because I have a two-stepper right here that I'm working on. That leaves me with 2y equals 6. And then when I divide, I'm going to get y equals 3. So I have my x value and I have my y value. I'm going to write them as an ordered pair. I'm going to make sure that I'm putting the x value first and then the y value second. So 1 and 3. All right, so hopefully this has made you realize why I love elimination so much more than substitution. And I don't mind graphing, but sometimes when you have um, equations, they're not so easy to graph, right? Um, so I definitely prefer elimination. But you can make your own decision what your favorite way to solve systems is. If you need to rewind this video and watch it again, you should certainly do that. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and ask. You know that your teachers love to help you. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.